everybody. It's Stacy Hawkins from StacyHawkins.com. Just finishing up the last of the prep that I need to do for our recipe tonight, which really there's not a lot of prep to this one at all. And this is one of my favorite lean and green recipes ever because it is so ridiculously easy. So while we're getting ready for everybody to join us and to come on the line, um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all of the people who are participating on here because as you know, it's these live videos, it's the education that you get, it's everything that you need to be able to be successful on program and to transition and keep the weight off for good, but it's all about community, right? I mean, we're watching this What's the Risk group and how it is just growing and growing and the great speakers that are coming on board and the team that's being developed here and the health coaches and the people who are um, your clients and every Everybody who's paying attention, right? I mean, how awesome is it that everybody is just so awake with all of this and so alive and so vibrant, whether it's six o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock at night or wherever you are across the country, we really are doing something great together. And depending on what your mindset is or what your philosophies or your beliefs are, um, I think no matter what religion, philosophy, doctrine that you may follow, there's one common thread in that we are much greater together and work together as a team than we are as individuals, right? I mean, no matter what kind of community or group we, we bond with, it is the support of that community that keeps everybody moving forward. So I want you to just stop for a moment and say, yay, yay for being here, yay for bringing people on board, yay for having your clients join us, but most importantly, yay for you for making the time for yourself to be here and to make the commitment and to get the job done, right? Get her done, that's what we like to say. Well, tonight we're going to make a whole new recipe, um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the feedback that I've gotten about this recipe, because I think that's really important and going to lend to a really great discussion this evening. And then as I promised to you last week, I have really something special for you guys this week. Um, this group has been so wonderful, and there have been so many questions that have come out that um, I have uh, a resource for you tonight that I think you're really going to like. And speaking of questions, as always, at 7 p.m., I have my wonderful, well-accomplished camera woman behind the scenes tonight, my daughter Jackie, who is back there fielding questions. So please, hey as we go along, um, feel free to chime in, ask questions as we go, whether it's with a cooking technique or whatever I'm doing, questions on program, etc. And then, of course, we'll always have more at the end. And if you're watching a replay of this, then still put your comments and questions below because, of course, we follow every week and um, pay attention and make sure that we get everyone taken care of and serviced. So what recipe are we making tonight? Well, tonight, um, by popular request, we are going into seafood. And tonight, in specific, I'm going to do scallops. And one of the reasons I really like scallops is not only are they delicious, but there's something that's a little different, right? Normally, we're eating a lot of chicken, we're eating a lot of beef, or a lot of turkey, or ground meat, um, and even shrimp. But scallops are something that we don't do very often. So it's a nice for a little bit of a change up. They don't have to be ridiculously expensive. They don't have to be hard to cook whatsoever. And they are really, really flavorful. Now the scallops that I'm making tonight, I'm going to do a really simple pan seared scallop that gets caramelized. Now like your shrimp, or even like um, some of your fishes, they tend to be a little bit sweeter in nature. That meat is really, really sweet. So this, um, this process that we're gonna do in the pan, this caramelization is gonna help release some of the, the natural sweetness that's in there. And then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of a sauce. And you know, we think, ooh, sauce is high in calories, high in fat, not at all. This one actually is going to be a balsamic mostacado based, and the balsamic mostacado is more like a balsamic reduction. So it's thick and it's rich and it's yummy. And then um, we're gonna thin it down just a little bit with some broth. So, are you ready? I'm gonna have Jackie move the camera over to the stove and we're gonna get cooking. All right, ready, sweetheart? Yep. Can we let Sandy out so she's So talks? let's talk for one minute here um, about the ingredients. So first of all, I have here just one pound tonight. I'm just making a smaller version of sea scallops. Now these you may notice, if there's they go rolling there, are a little bit smaller. 
They're called a Faroe Island scallop. So this is an ode to my friend Barit in Denmark. Um, these are uh, off an island in Denmark, the Faroe Islands, and I hope I'm saying that the right way. They are bigger than a bay scallop, but they are smaller than a sea scallop. But I really like them because they tend to be a little bit less expensive, but they have all of the yummy, flavorful properties of a sea scallop. Um, not of, a, of the large jumbo scallops, um, but they're not, you know, the tiny little overcook them and they get like little rubber erasers um, on the sea, on the uh, bay scallops. So the key to getting these browned, um, you know, let me go through the rest of the ingredients really quickly first. Super simple. We're going to cook them in a little bit of the luscious lemon oil. Uh, and then our sauce is going to be based on a little bit of broth and as I said, the, um, the balsamic mostacado. Really simple, right? Four really basic ingredients that are gonna give you a ton of flavor. Uh, but the key to this flavor is really in the scallops, and I'm gonna talk about them while we get them cooking. First of all, I'm gonna turn my pan on high heat. And Jack, if you wanna pan down here, no pun intended, um, you can see that I'm intentionally using a non non-stick coated pan and the reason for that is because I want these scallops to caramelize and it is almost impossible to caramelize in a non-stick pan. Now I'm also drizzling the oil. You saw me shake quite frequently which looked like I was putting a lot of oil on but no I'm only using about four teaspoons which is going to equate to one healthy fat on program. Now Again, the pan is important, getting it nice and hot is important, but these scallops also have to be prepped in such a way so that we make sure they can get caramelized. If you buy the giant sea scallops, um, yep, you can come back up. If you buy the giant sea scallops, you wanna make sure you buy a dry scallop. If you use a bay scallop, you're gonna really wanna pack them dry and squeeze them. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these Faroe Island scallops. I'm simply going to just put them in, whoop, we got a couple runaways here. Put them in a paper towel, and I'm just gonna give them a little squeeze. And what this is going to do is just remove all of that excess moisture. Again, too much moisture in the pan, and they're going to steam. They're not going to caramelize, which is what we really want. So I'll just, the, the trick is to get the paper towel off. <laughs> and as long as you don't squeeze them too hard, the, the paper towel will release really easily for you. Do not use a tissue. A tissue, by all means, will be way, way, way too soft. Um, and you can even use a kitchen towel if you wanted to. All right, my pan is not quite hot enough yet, so I'm just gonna wait. Actually, we'll just kind of zhuzh the oil around a little bit. And then we'll put these scallops in. So if you, can you see the pan? Mm -hmm. All right, so I wanna put them in, and you can hear them hit. I'm gonna put them in just kind of flat side down, and I wanna try to get them all in one layer. Of course, if you were using the larger scallops, you could just place them down one at a time and then just make sure they sear. Now, give me one second to just quick rinse my hands, because I don't want fishy smelling hands. So you can watch those beautiful scallops there. All right, this is the hard part. Resist the temptation to poke them, play with them, try to turn them over. Because when you're cooking in a pan that doesn't have nonstick coating on it, these things are only going to release when they are ready and when they are fully cooked on that side. The goal is to try to get them browned um, on both of the flat sides. So you can imagine, especially if you're doing a large sea scallop, this is going to be really easy to do, right? You'll be able to cook it and then using a tong, and those are the best things to use to, is to flip them over. In this case, because these are a little bit smaller, I don't want to be flipping them one by one by one by one. So I will just go ahead and use a, um, a spatula. But um, if you take a look here, they're, they're, they stick. They're not quite ready to come up yet. So when they are ready to come up, then they will, they will release. So we're just gonna give them a little bit more time here because again, it's that browning that's gonna give it that incredible flavor. So let's take a moment and um, go to the screen there. Do we have any questions? No questions. Do we have any love? We got love, well that's good. <laughs> um, one of the things that I will say is with this recipe, uh, as I started to tell you before, um, this has been one of the most popular that's on the stacyhawkins.com slash recipes website. So when you go there, you'll see, um, especially in this last month, we have added so many new recipes 
There's so much going on, and there's a lot of high-speed cooking videos that are going up as well. As a matter of fact, just yesterday, I put out a recipe for sandwich bread. In fact, I can show you. Let me pull out my drawer here. I actually had one of these for dinner tonight. Um, can you see these through the baggie? The baggie's blue, so they look kind of funny. But we did a, um, a really quick and easy uh, paleo-style bread for sandwiches, which this stuff is awesome, and talk about easy. Um, really delicious, really yummy, great for sandwiches, great for a lean and green, and believe it or not, two slices of bread, and I did these with a little of a garlic and spring onion, so it's like a garlicky bread. Two slices of bread is only one-sixth of a lean and one-sixth of a condiment, so a little goes a long way. All right, let's take a look here. Do you see what's going on in this pan? You see how I've got that brown caramelization going on? And do you see how easy these are releasing? So I just want to take my spatula and I'm going to flip these over as best as I can. Now what I will tell you is this, is once these little scallops are browned on one side, they are almost fully cooked. So you don't want to take too very long on the opposite side because otherwise they will get really rubbery and you will not want to eat them. You will also notice that I haven't seasoned these. I mean, they really, they're so tender and so delicious that they really don't require a whole heck of a lot more than what we have here. So I'm just gonna let these cook for one minute more and then we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. Now, a perfect accompaniment for this would be some wilted spinach, and to make that really easily, although I've got the recipe on stacyhawkins.com for you there as well, you simply take a frying pan like this, drizzle in a tiny bit of oil, and then take about a pound of freshly washed baby spinach, shake most of the moisture off of it, and once this pan is hot, put your spinach in, put a lid on it, and then turn it off, remove it from the heat. It really is that simple, and it will just wilt. Season it with a little salt and pepper, and then you can put these scallops right over top of it, just like you see in the picture that I'm going to put on the worksheet tonight. All right, Jack, you want to come down one last time here? As you can see, these are pretty much done, and it's time to make our sauce. Now, I just want to pull up here really quickly and show you all of the, <laughs> the scallops are in the way, but you can see all of the brown that's in the pan. That is tons of flavor, and we want to release that. You probably heard me say this before. That stuff is actually called Fond, F-O-N-D. And to release it, we're gonna put in some moisture, and you're gonna see a lot of steam come up here. This is just half a cup of broth. I'm just using a vegetable broth tonight. And I'm using my metal spatula to scrape all of that off the bottom. Now you'll notice too, that I have never taken these scallops off of high heat, which is why this cooks so quickly. And it's really, 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 really important to make sure that you keep the heat up so that you can keep them from steaming and release all that liquid, as I said. All right, so to this, we now have our broth and our scallops in here, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the um, Stacey Hawkins Balsamic Mostacado. Now this, you may be like, oh my gosh, why is she putting balsamic on scallops? If you notice, I mean, that's a clear bottle. You see how thick that is? This is really thick. It is also on the sweet side, so you wanna watch not to use too much of it. A half a tablespoon is one condiment. So you don't wanna to use too much of it, but what it does is this makes um, an offsetting flavor for the salty scallops and the salty broth we put in. Now we're adding the sweetness of the balsamic. And this is where you kinda of have to babysit this just a little bit because you want the liquid to reduce by half so this balsamic gets a little bit syrupy, but you don't want it to get overdone. So while this is doing its thing, I wanna share with you, I'm just gonna pull up my camera here, my, Actually, I'm not, because this is cooking so fast. It's the beauty of live TV. But as soon as I start reading, it's gonna be done, and then we're gonna be left with nothing. All right, I am gonna grab a plate real quick. And these are ready to go, wow. Look at how yummy and thick and delicious this is. And Jack, am I still in camera on the screen here? Look at that sauce. Do you see how thick that got? 
And then there are our scallops on top of it. I'm just going to shake a few of them out here and put that so that it's not on the heat. It's probably hard to see through the steam, but... Pull them up a little bit. Pull them up. Oh, there we go. Like that? Yep. All right. All right, so you can come back out. Super easy, super delicious, chuck full of flavor. But don't take my word for it. What I wanted to read for you is this. So um, one of the members of our group, Karen Kimberly, made this back in October. And I love what she says here because um, she alludes to the next thing that I want to talk about that I think this is so important. She says, OMG, I have used this recipe so many times. I actually find myself craving it while I sit at my desk at work. The flavors are strong and leave such a satisfying, quote, I have had a meal, unquote, thought in your mind. That's so powerful, right? We think about, think about that quote that she says. It leaves that I have had a meal thought in your mind. Being satisfied is so important to staying on program and then, uh, I, hold on one second, Jackie, you may yes. have these. She's behind the camera going, I want to eat them. <laughs> eat them while they're hot. But what I was starting to say was being satisfied is so important to your success on program, right? You don't want to eat boring foods. You don't want to eat things that are bland. You don't want to eat things that leave you less than full and less than satisfying. And the truth is, why should you? There are so many great foods that are out there, so many amazing things that we can eat, and all of them on program. And that's what now, I think we're up to seven weeks, maybe even eight weeks doing this. I hope that you've been able to learn some of those um, great tricks and ideas and tips about how you can eat amazing lean and green meals like this for the rest of your life. And I know I've gotten such great feedback from so many of you saying thank you so much for doing this. You are so very welcome. I love what I'm doing. I love being part of this group and I love being able to pay it forward to people like Karen Kimberly who you know just sent that, that great quote. And the truth is I want you to be satisfied. Satisfaction is key. So last week, um, again, because of some of the feedback I got, because so, so many people were asking, how do I get your recipes? How do I get your recipes? And because I feel so strongly about this group, I want to present um, a special offer for you. So some of you may have this already. Some of you may wonder what it is. Um, about eight years ago now, after helping Metafast Corporate write um, some of the recipes in their cookbook, I wrote a cookbook as well. Um, and this is now the Lean and Green Low Carb Cookbook. This is the second edition. If you have the first edition, um, which um, has a, a different picture of me on it, it's not a different cookbook. Um, this is just kind of more of a souped up cookbook with a lot more recipes in it and, and um, a lot more things as time goes on. I have this available on the StacyHawkins.com website. Usually it goes for, for $40. Um, but for you guys, I want to put a special code below and I'll put a little button with an offer below. I want to be able to give it to the group at a discount. And I also want to, and so, um, so I'm going to give it to you at the discount. I'm also going to give you um, five spices with it. So five sample spices so that you can start cooking things out of there right away, which I don't normally do. And then I want to throw in a 10% off coupon as well, because I know a lot of you have said, I want to get some of the spices. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. And that 10% will be good on um, one of the Lean and Green cooking kits if you want that as well. So I'll put that information um, below again, because I just want to share the love with you guys. And I'm so appreciative of everyone paying it forward. So speaking of paying it forward and talking about Lean and Green, don't forget tonight's worksheet will be in the folder above. So just go all the way to the right on the buttons and I believe it says files and you can just click on that and you can print out all the worksheets from everything that we've done in weeks past. Um, all the lessons are there and feel free to print them out forward them to friends, family. If you are a health coach and want to forward them to your clients, you can definitely do so. Um, again, there's a lot of information there for you. So with that, I think I've kind of gone over my time a little bit. I see you. Jackie, do I have any other questions on there? Nope. It's a quiet night tonight. Well, I think that's because everybody's drooling and loving this lean and green meal. I'm Stacey Hawkins saying thank you so much. And remember, you can definitely make a better meal and live a better life, and I am so happy to show you how. Have a great night, everybody.